In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Dear friends, let us continue to pray for people who are affected. More and more cases are being tested positive and also we see more and more people becoming very careless to certain extent even irresponsible in terms of their own safety as well as the safety of the others. Also at this time I think we need a lot more solidarity with people who are tested positive because it is, it is something which really disturbs every one of us. We need to really accompany them at least through uh, phone calls by giving them, instilling in them the courage and hope. We need to do this ministry if not face to face which is which is not right, which is discouraged, but over the phone or through various other media. Let us try to accompany people who are affected, whomever we know. Whenever we come to know that someone is positive, let's call up that person and give them the hope and pray for them so that they will have that courage, they will have that hope to get through, get away from this uh, uh, unfortunate situation that they are right now in. And for the times we have not forgiven people, for the times we have had the revenge even for years altogether waiting for a bright moment to take revenge on people. Let's feel sorry and ask Lord's pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, brothers, sisters, I have said, all my faults I now declare. Lord, have mercy on us all. Oh, Lord, we have sinned against you. Lord, have mercy on us all. Blessed Mary, pray for me. Saints and angels, pray for me. Brothers, sisters, pray for me. Pray to the Lord our God for me. Oh Lord, we have sinned against you. Lord, have mercy on us all. Oh Lord, we have sinned against you. Lord, have mercy on us all. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, right hand of the Father. Lamb of God, the sacrifice. Lamb of God, who bore our sin. Mercy and receive our prayer. You alone are Lord of creation. You alone are Lord. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Sirach. Anger and wrath, these also are abominations, and the sinful man will hold them fast. The one who seeks vengeance will be paid vengeance from the Lord, and he who keeps a record will have his own sins recorded. Forgive your neighbor the wrong he has done, and then your sins will be pardoned when you pray. Does one person harbor anger against another and yet seek for healing for the Lord? Does he have mercy towards someone like himself and yet pray concerning his own sins? If he himself, being flesh, maintains wrath, who will make atonement for his sins? Remember the end of your life and cheese for any enmity. Remember destruction and death and be true to their commandments. Remember the commandments and do not be angry with your neighbor. Remember the covenant of the Most High and overtook error. The Word of the Lord. Let your response be the Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and rich in mercy. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all within me is holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and never great forget all his benefits. Your response? It is the Lord who forgives all your sins, who heals every one of your ills, who redeems your life from the grave, who crowns you with mercy and compassion. Your response? He will not always find fault, nor persist in his anger forever. He does not treat us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our faults. Your response? For as the heavens are high above the earth, so strong is mercy for those who fear him. As for us, the east is from the west, so far from us does he remove our transgressions. Your response? The second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 14, verses 7 to 9. Brethren, none of us lives to himself, and none of us dies to himself. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end Christ died and lived again, that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. The Word of the Lord. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia. A new commandment I give to you, says the Lord. 
that you love one another just as I have loved you. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Chapter 18, verses 21 to 35. At that time, Peter came up and said to Jesus, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times. Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy times seven. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. When he began to settle, one was brought to him who owed him 10,000 talents. And since he could not pay, his master ordered him to be sold with his wife and children and all that he had and payment to be made. So the servant fell on the knees, imploring him, have patience with me and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the master of that servant released him and forgave him the debt. But when that same servant went out, he found out found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. And seizing him, he began to choke him, saying, Pay what you owe. So his fellow servant fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. He refused and went and put him in prison until he should pay the debt. When his fellow servants saw what had taken place, they were greatly distressed. And they went and reported to their master all that had taken place. Then his master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. And should you not have had mercy on your fellow servant as I had mercy on you? And in anger his master delivered him to the jailers until he should pay all his debt. So also my heavenly Father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends in Christ Jesus, I think we have dealt with this Gospel passage some time back quite elaborately trying to understand the meaning of this whole text and what exactly is meant by the numbers 7, 70, 10 talents or 100 denarii, 10,000 talents, 100 denarii, what that, what that meant. I think we will try to take a reflection a little, uh, little different, but I would like to give a little highlight of this whole, whole passage. We have beautifully read in the first reading from Book of Sirach telling us very clearly, we really need to forgive people if we have to receive forgiveness from the Lord. And if we are going to take count, record the fault and sins of everyone and keep note of it, trying and waiting for a time to pay back with vengeance, pay back with revenge, all our sins also will be recorded without missing out anything by the Lord. So it's very clearly it says it is, it is the measure which I give is going to be the measure what I get. And nowadays people do realize it's, it's happening nowadays quite early. The moment you do something very bad, we also get back. We also receive certain amount of difficulties, certain amount of curse because we have harmed someone. And moving to the gospel passage, it's very clear. A person one who owes 10,000 talents, which is an astronomical number, they said, huge money going in millions of dollars. While after receiving the forgiveness for such a huge debt, he is not able to forgive someone who is owing him just 100 denarii, which is few thousands, very, very little money in comparison to the debt that he, uh, he had with his master. And it is also said, this is this, uh, the amount, 10,000 talent, if someone is asked to owe to someone, it simply means he, the, the, the person, the master should have been a king or a governor who was governing a province and the one who was supposed to owe maybe he is the one who is in charge of all the taxes because it cannot be one individual's property because it is a huge sum. 
and therefore someone who is responsible who, is, who, who, who holds a responsible position and he has to pay this debt to the master and this person is given that forgiveness and this responsible person receives so much of forgiveness from the master is not able to forgive his own subject who owes him very little and of course those, those days uh, the whole family to be sent in slavery was still existing in the, in the ancient um, uh, east it was it was there but what is very important for us today is this justice is very important but a lord is a person one who makes sure he he gives justice of course he is there the judgment seat he makes sure the justice is done but his justice is always loaded with mercy completely two different things mercy is to do with forgiveness justice is to do with the action of the person what is right what is wrong yeah you are done right you take merit and you are done wrong you have to go through the pain and punishment for your sins for your actions but here we see god's justice is beautiful his justice is loaded with mercy so it's a package god's justice will always come with the coat of mercy but what happens this is this is the standard god's standard but in human standard somehow we we put these two things separately and once someone does mistake someone does wrong we are on the extreme of giving justice demanding justice but when we are wrong we move to the extreme of receiving mercy so that's how we live in two paradox so in two extremes when it comes to when it comes to the others i want to bring justice i say you your action you made a mistake pay for it but when it comes to me in when i make a mistake you say is there any opportunity is there any 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 space any hole where i can actually receive full mercy mercy in fullness but god's mercy is loaded with god's justice is loaded with mercy again it is said there is a beautiful latin a proverb which i am not able to say because i do not know latin but the meaning is this when we insist on justice when when justice is taken to the extreme that justice will become injustice when i stress so much on law when i say when i stress so much of on being right that becomes injustice that's why people who stress too much on rules too much on you are wrong you are, you are it's not right so it you can actually make a mistake of being or going to the extreme of being unjust so this is where we have to be little more careful because our lord our god teaches us to be merciful even when we sit on the judgment seat so our mercy our justice has to have this coat of mercy we have to go through this package because my dear friends when it comes to our life we always want to take out try to make as much as space possible to experience to enjoy mercy when it comes to the others what we stress more is justice what i don't follow i demand i mean when someone demands i want mercy and when one ple- someone pleads with with us we impose justice this is a kind of life we are living so jesus says yes peter seven times 70 times 490 times 4900 times but in christian living forgiveness is immeasurable you have to keep forgiving as much as possible because god is going to forgive you without any limit because god's mercy is unlimited so my dear friends let us pray for this a very difficult grace very difficult because we say okay we quote lot of saints we say so many other aspects of it to condemn people let's not condemn people let us try let us try our best to forgive people let us try to create space so that anyone who the worst of the criminal also has a space to change give a room for conversion let us pray it's there is there is it's not a very big theory all what i expect what i expect from the others what i expect expect from my authorities what i expect from the society 
a space, a little space of understanding, mercy. Let us try giving it to the others. And once I do it, my justice will also be coated with mercy. Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray for various needs and intentions. In a very special way, let us pray for our Holy Father, for Francis who is beautifully leading the church. Let us pray that he may enjoy good health so that he could move about and do his mission and work in the way God really wants him. At the same time, let's also pray that he may have the right knowledge and wisdom to guide the church in the right direction. Let us pray for the various countries and the leaders that they may work for the welfare of the people. And especially for us, let's pray that the whole world which is affected by this pandemic, that the Lord's hand may be on every one of us. May we all experience his healing touch. In a special, let's pray for people who are really affected, and infected, that the Lord may give them the hope and courage to move out of this dangerous zone and may come back to their normal living. Let us pray together. We ask you, Lord Jesus, to remain with us each time we repeatedly fall under the burden of our trials. We pray for those searching for treatments, cures and vaccines. May you guide them, reveal new ideas and accelerate their discoveries to fight this disease despite repeated failures. This we ask for your love's sake. Amen. Take our breath, we ask you take our hearts, we love you take our lives, oh Father we are yours, so we are yours, yours as we stand at the table you said, yours as we Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness, accept these your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. 
who lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of your Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you as with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, George Anthony, Sami, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to our Father in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us, do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of Christ. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us. Through Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.